trillion dollars of debt. So where does it all go? Well, the answers to some of it may surprise you. Dr. Tom Coburn, he wears a lot of hats, also senator from Oklahoma, here to reveal the most egregious government spending this year. Good to see you. Good morning. Good morning, you guys. Well, don't, get, don't look at us like that. We didn't do it. You're looking at us like it's our fault. <laughs> let's what did you it. come up with? Let's, let's start with uh, the federal government thought it would be a good idea to spend $300,000 to tell Americans it's time to start eating caviar. Yeah, we're subsidizing the, the promotion to consume caviar. In best case scenario, they might someday sell $1.5 million worth of it, so we spent $300,000 for that. Well, we took taxpayer money into the private sector to pr promote a <clears throat> private group to sell their products. Well, th this next one makes sense. $27 million for Moroccan pottery classes. We yeah. can't just leave Moroccan pottery to the Moroccans. <laughs> yeah, well, the, pr the problem with that is they used the wrong clay. It's not available Are in Morocco. And number two is they didn't translate the class properly. Wow. It's a big flub. My, right. my clay from Hasbro. <laughs> <laughs> what about $1.2 million to National Science Foundation Award to study effects of World of Warcraft on memory of seniors. I don't even know what that is. What is well, that's a game? video game yeah. oh, uh, that most seniors don't play. Okay. Or, or women in their 40s. Well, luckily, <laughs> they could have spent $2 million, but they only spent $1.2. Yeah. How about, uh, about $25,000, a grant to New Mexico State University to develop a course called Should We Want to Be Happy? <laughs> All kids in college are happy, aren't they? Uh, probably not, but the, the, the point is, is, you know, the whole point of this exercise every year is there's thousands. Yeah. I mean, we just t took 100. Uh, I can give you probably 5,000 similar uh, uh, items where the lack of judgment, the lack of critical thinking, the idea that you shouldn't have to prioritize how we spend our kids' money. We're not spending right. American taxpayers' money today. We're borrowing it from we're China. We're borrowing it. Mm. And, and so the, the question sh shows we're running trillion-dollar deficits. The way you get rid of trillion-dollar deficits, a billion at a time, there's $17 billion in what we put out in this hundred, this top hundred. I can show you another $200 billion worth of waste. Okay. If, in fact, we did those things, we would actually start solving the problem. But, but how, how does it get to this point? Congress has to vote on all of these expenditures, correct? No, Congress, which is one of the problems. The problem is Congress. Congress doesn't do the oversight of the agencies. I mean, Congress, there won't be very many people in Congress that even read the hundred, this waste book. Yeah. They'll never even look at it. So they don't do the oversight, so we continue to do these things year after year. I think this is the fourth year we put out this book. Mm -hmm. Year after year, this continues to happen because Congress fails to do its job, mm -hmm. and when it writes a law, it isn't right. specific about what it expects. Now, the other thing, just to say, you know, $325,000 to San Diego State to study how snakes react to a robotic squirrel. It's another example. But in the big picture, we're up against this, this cliff, this fiscal cliff. Uh, Senator, are you optimistic, regardless of who wins, we're going to come up with some type of remedy for this, both sides? Sure, I am. Why? Because career politicians do hard things when the pain of not doing the hard thing <laughs> is greater than the pain of doing the hard thing. Well, there's a lot of pain all across the country. Let's see what happens. Uh, Senator, thank Good you very much you. for joining us. Pleasure. Nice to have you.